New this morning, a dangerous felon is back behind bars after a scary situation at a very popular grocery store overnight. Matthew Torres, live for us outside of the Publix over in Wilson County in Mount Juliet's on Mount Juliet Road. This could have turned ugly if the shoppers hadn't realized what was going on and dial 911, Matthew. Yeah, Steve, it could have been a lot worse. According to Mount Julia police, the suspect was not only drunk, but he was armed with a gun. Now, this happened around 6 o'clock last night outside of the grocery store. So keep in mind, there were several shoppers around. They said that this man, 36-year-old David Thorne, approached them saying that he had been robbed and needed their help. But come to find out upon further investigation, police determined that his claims were all false. Now, the officers with the Crime Suppression Unit undercover officers eventually found him at the Holiday Inn, which is just across the street from where I'm standing, and said he had just placed a loaded gun in the trunk of the car. In fact, Thorne kept to his story and kept telling police that he had been robbed. But again, all of that has been determined to be false. Apparently, he has also claimed that he was under the influence of methamphetamine. This was all last night. He was booked into jail before 11 o'clock, but this morning he is still at the Wilson County Jail facing several charges, including public intoxication and unlawful possession of a weapon while under the influence. Luckily, nobody was hurt because we've learned this morning that Thornton is a convicted felon with a violent criminal past. We are still working to get more details about his criminal history and hopefully get a copy of his mugshot. For now, we are reporting live in Mount Julia. I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.